in the last 100 years, the world became so comfortable. The bounty that is all over the place, people have like every kind of comfort that they can just ask for themselves. Things that the Creator made for a person in our generation out of His kindness and out of His unconditional love to us is so warming the heart that we were supposed to wake up and to understand that. We were supposed to realize that all that goodness is a gift of God. Those things that people can, can go to swimming pools, that swimming pools can be clean, that people can, can wa walk with sneakers and not every person needs to, to saw his own shoes and, and soles to his, like, with, with fabrics and leather that he needs to, to peel from a poor animal. Like, people lived in that way. People had to, to carve their own glasses from wood or stone. Like, people were not knowing how to read and write and didn't have no books, no education. Today you go and you fix your fingernails and, and you buy a new suit and you order things online and, and, and all those things are, are not supposed to be taken for granted. And when the world was like so packed with goodness and with kindness and people are not able so well to appreciate that so from heaven they they push the pause button and now the world is on hold and everyone are stuck and now we need to come back and to understand that there's a message in it and like someone told you go to your room why you send your child to the room why you tell him go to your room why you send someone into his house for him to rethink about his life, for him to think about his reality, for him to have appreciation for life, for his family members, for his hobbies, for his daily routine, for his schedule, for his friends, for his work, for his job, for his colleagues, for fresh air, for his sneakers, for every simple thing that he has in his life. Only for that purpose you send your son, your child to the room for him to think. So let's think about it.